Welcome aboard. We're at anchor in the St. Lucie River North Fork in Stewart, Florida. And you can see that day beacon out there in the center of the screen. You can see the piling on the water. And maybe you can see the flashing light, day beacon flashing light. And the reason we like to anchor near a flashing light is at night we still have a landmark that we can reference in case our anchor slides. I'll pan to the left and show you our GPS on the dashboard of this boat. This is a main ship 400. You can see the anchor pulpit and the American flag. Coming down to the Garmin GPS, you can actually see our snail trail, the way that we swung around during the night. Looking at the top left, you can see our speed is zero knots. Our GPS heading is 74 degrees, bouncing around a little bit, 125. Bottom right, you can see our depth is 7.3 feet under keel. We've adjusted that to read under keel so we don't touch anything like sandbar. And the bottom left is the battery voltage at 13.2. Again, you can see the screen. You can see the figure eight where we came in and made our figure eight to check out the bottom conditions, make sure it was a uniform depth suitable for anchoring. And you can see our arc where we swung around with the current and the wind last night. Most important, you can see over to the top right in the two o'clock position, the day beacon that we anchored near, which is our reference. So we can see that during night in case our GPS dies on us. Let me move back a little bit. And it might be difficult for you to see the day beacon. It's right there in between the curve on the Isinglass windshield. You want to pan left on the dashboard. Again, you can see the anchor pulpit, our compass. This instrument here with the light on reminds us that the generator is running. That's important in case we start the main engine so we start cruising and forget to turn off the generator. That's an excellent reminder. Here to the left, we've got a Raymarine radar. And again, looking at the center of the screen, that's where the boat is. Then over at 2 o'clock, 2.30 position, you can see that blip. That's the day beacon. The radar is showing us the day beacon on the radar. So in rain, fog, or darkness, we'll know where that radar or where that day beacon is located because of the radar. Moving a little more left. You can see our depth is 7.8 under keel and our speed is at zero. Moving back, you can see all of our instrumentation here. The radar, the generator reminder that it's on and we have the heater going on, it's February. And then back down to the GPS device. Again, we've swung around a little bit and you can see that the day beacon is now over there near three o'clock to the position of our boat. So I will move back out to the window and hunt for the day beacon. And there you can see it's over there near the middle of the screen in between that metal pipe and the zipper on the left hand side of the Isinglass window. If you have any questions about boating, remember, ask Captain Chris.